this is Blake with Rainwater Management Solutions, and today we're going to be looking at the Roth 1500 gallon underground tank. So the Roth tanks come in two sizes, 1060 gallons and 1500 gallons. Both of them will have one opening on each end. Each end will also have multiple access points for your inlets and outlets on each side and on each end. You will notice that on one end, it is marked inlet on both the end and the sides. On the opposite end, it will be marked outlet. Over there. Before plumbing your tank, it is important to determine which end and which side you will need to come out of with your piping. Before beginning, it is important to remove both lids, which screw on or up. And if there's any water, it is always helpful to remove that before beginning plumbing installation. Once we've determined which side or end we want our inlet on, we're going to install our smoothing inlet. And in order to do that, we need to drill a hole in order to insert a four inch gasket. For a four inch gasket, we're gonna use a five inch hole saw. If you're doing a gasket of a different size for another application, you can always tell which size to use by holding it inside the hole saw until you find one that is approximately the right size. For the smoothing inlet, you'll notice that there are two hole dimples already in the tank. For this application, we're gonna use the lower one. So we use our pilot tip right onto that hole. And pro tip, we always wear safety protection. After drilling the hole, it always helps to clean out the edge with a good sharp knife. Once your hole is clean, you can insert your four inch gasket. Once your gasket is installed, you can insert your pipe. We use four inch S and D pipe since it is not under pressure. It's always best to insert the pipe from the exterior going in. That way the gasket doesn't pop out. Pro tip, if you wiggle the pipe as you insert it, it goes a lot smoother. To install the smoothing inlet, we'll use a 90 and a piece of 4 inch S&D pipe cut at 37 and a half inches. We'll glue the 90 to the inlet. We'll glue this piece but we will not put glue on the smoothing inlet itself. The pipe will actually hold it in place. Make sure that the smoothing inlet is making good contact with the bottom of the tank. On the opposite end of the tank, we're gonna install our multi-siphon overflow device. Now, this side also has the two pre-designated drilling spots, but to get it situated where we need it properly, we're actually gonna go about an inch below the lowest hole to drill our hole for the gas. After inserting your four inch gasket, we're gonna put another section of pipe, four inch S and D. Then using a four inch by four inch fern co, we're going to install that onto the multi-siphon device until it is approximately halfway into the fern cone. From inside the tank, you'll need to install the multi-siphon overflow device 
onto the pipe and tighten down the other end of the fern coat. Make sure that the stabilizing brace below is making good contact with the tank. This will keep the multi-siphon device from tipping and not allowing the water to flow properly. When you purchase your tank, you'll also have the option of us plumbing the smoothing inlet and the multi-siphon overflow device for you. When your tank arrives, you will have approximately 12 to 18 inches of pipe sticking out from both sides for you to attach your inlet and your overflow pipe.